Hey everyone, it's Chrissy at EctoGames.com here, and today we're going to be making this really cool kinetic sculpture with the science of torque. So tomorrow starts the five days of Christmas, as well as there's going to be a lot of toy reviews and toy opening because it's the Christmas holiday time. So I'm going to leave you with one more science video you can do before we start doing toy reviews. So pretty. So for this experiment you will need a cup, some straws, some birthday candles, a ruler, a paper clip, and a pen or small nail. We're going to be using some Play-Doh as well, but it is not necessary. So I guess since this is all the materials for a kinetic sculpture, does that mean that it's a potential sculpture? <laughs> That's a little physics joke for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is bend a paper clip like this. So take this end, um, the outside end, and pull it down until it is about straight. And then you're going to take this, the other end, and bend it, bend it upwards to make sort of a U-E shape. Once you've made your U-ish shape, we're going to flip this side around and bend it that way. And that's how you want to bend your paper clip. And we're demonstrating this on big paper clips. You're actually supposed to use like one of these small paper clips here, but we're demonstrating it on big paper clips just so you can see it better. So the next step you're going to want to do is take this U end and stick it inside of your straw. And it will end up looking like this. So next step is what Steve Spangler did is he took a hole in the cup and then stuck his straw in. But we personally think it's easier just to use Play-Doh or any other kind of clay and stick it up like that. So when you're done, you'll end up with something that looks kind of like this. And this is your base for the sculpture. So set, now set the base aside, and now we'll be working on the seesaw. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab another straw and measure it with my, a ruler. I am using my great women rulers of science ruler, and we're going to find the halfway point and then poke a hole in it with your pin or your nail. Now I'm just upside down. So you should put this, so poke a hole all the way through with your pen or small nail and not just through the top side and then make sure that it spins freely when you put it on your paper clip. So now that you've got your hole poked, take two of the birthday candles and stick them in the ends of your straw. And it might, and it's okay that a little bit of the wax might fall off, but you're still going to have to put them in just so they stick. Now you're going to put on your straw and it's going to slide down here and then push it back so it's about halfway between this straw and the end of the paper. And it should be able to spin freely and not in this. So now you have to perfectly balance these candles which luckily will be easy because of torque and torque is the force that the weight of the candles is pushing down times the distance from the middle. So what you're going to have to do is not keep shaving the candles until they're ex the exact same weight. Is you're just going to have to slide these in and out. Like if one's too heavy, you're going to have to push it more in. If one's too light, you're going to have to pull it more out. And keep doing that until they are balanced. Okay, so now the fun part begins now that the candles are balanced. We're going to light one of the candles on fire. And like I said in my last video, you need to have a hypothesis before you do something. My hypothesis is some of the wax is going to fall off of the candle that we light. Therefore, it will become lighter and it will go up. And what... And after that happens, we're going to light both sides on fire. And honestly, after that happens, I have no idea what's going to happen. Ooh, that one's 
that's cool. So my hypothesis was right. Some of the wax is falling off, and now it, and now it's lighter. So now let me light the other side. Ooh, smoking wax. I take all the wax. Ooh, it almost turned all the way around. That's cool. Now you've just got like a whole line of wax. Did I mention that I um burnt my top lip while trying to use matches? Don't trust me with fire. If you ever meet me, please don't trust me with fire. I'm not good with it. Ooh, that one's wick is weird. It's like falling off. It looks like it's dripping a lot of the fire. That's, yeah, that's cool looking. Ooh, it went all the way around. the kinetic sculpture that we just made. Um, I would challenge you to set this up and ask your friends if they can find out what's going to happen before you light the candles. And it's really, really cool looking. I absolutely love this thing. It's beautiful and amazing. So yeah, th thank you so much Steve Spangler for sending me the books yet again so we could find this amazing experiment. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you tomorrow.